So I want to show you this remote really quick. And I think this might be the first TV remote that has GPT-40 built right in. So first thing, of course, I can control the TV. So, you know, go back to the home, navigate down, you know, everything's really good in the case of, you know, over here of controlling Apple TV. But you'll notice we also can control devices, scenes, and then we've got the microphone button. So to show you a quick example, if I tap this microphone, I'm here in Cape Cod. I'll just ask a question about this. What's a brief history of Cape Cod? Certainly. Here's a concise snapshot of Cape Cod's history. 1602, British explorer Bartholomew Gosnold names the Cape, Cape Cod, due to the abundance of codfish. 1620, the pilgrims land at Provincetown Harbor before eventually settling in Plymouth. 18th and 19th centuries, Cape Cod becomes a major center for fishing, whaling, and salt production. 1940s, 1950s, the area gains popularity as a tourist destination, aided by improved transportation and infrastructure. 1961, John F. Kennedy establishes the Cape Cod National Seashore, preserving over 40 miles of beaches and dunes. Modern day Cape Cod remains a beloved destination known for its scenic beauty, quaint towns, maritime activities, and artistic communities. So that's using GPT-40. Of course, we're using a multimodal system, so I can also control really everything in here. So for example, we can say, turn off the TV, close the shades, and turn on the lights. Powering off, closing the shade. You got it. Primary bedroom lights are now on. So there's a lot we can do with both. The next thing I'll show you is, in addition to the voice command side, we can control devices. So down here, we've got this light. It's a nano leaf light that's full color. So if I go into my different device tiles, this one over here, we see it shows the color, so it's a little bit blurry. Um, but I can go into that and then I can say, you know, let's adjust the color. So, you know, I can make it dimmer, make it brighter. I can make it just a white if I want to go, you know, white instead of, um, you know, color. And so really simple. And then of course I can turn it off. The next thing in here is we can also do a lot with music. So why don't we use GPT to get a music recommendation and then I'll show you what the UI looks like. So why don't we start with, um, let's say maybe, what would be a good musical artist to listen to in Cape Cod on the beach? and enjoyable beach vibe in Cape Cod, you might want to listen to Jack Johnson. If you're in the mood for something a bit more upbeat, but still coastal, Jimmy Buff, it is always a beach classic with his laid back Margaritaville style songs. Both artists can set the perfect mood for a day by the ocean. Yeah, why don't we try Jack Johnson? So let's go and say, open the shades and listen to Jack Johnson. shade now playing jack johnson and then if i go over here into the devices so we can see we've got it's a jack johnson radio so right now willie nelson but go over to the next song and so we've got you know jack johnson upside down playing very simple i can crank it up i can lower the volume i can then pause it so this remote gives me full control over my devices in my room, my home, and then of course I've got full GPT-40 capabilities. So maybe we'll just finish with one of these other, um, you know, sort of uh, AI capabilities. Why don't we give it a question like, um, I don't know, I'm looking outside, we've got pretty crazy tides here. Why are the tides in Cape Cod so severe? Tides in Cape Cod are particularly pronounced due to its unique geographical location and the shape of the coastline. Here are a few reasons. Position of Cape Cod, situated at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean, the Cape is subjected to the full force of the ocean tides. Bay formation, 
The funnel-like shape of Cape Cod Bay amplifies tidal differences, causing more extreme tides. Gravitational effects, tidal forces from the moon and sun, can influence tidal extremes. The alignment of these celestial bodies can further intensify tides. These factors combine to create the sizable tidal range experienced in Cape Cod, making it a fascinating spot for those interested in maritime phenomena. So there you have it. This might be the first remote that features GPD-4O, and I'm pretty excited about it.